Good morning, YouTube. First thing first, I would like to say thank you, Jesus, for all you have done and all you continue to do in my life and in the life of my brothers and sisters throughout the world. Uh, thank you for your patience, your love, your tolerance. Without you, we'll be lost. We'll be doomed. We won't exist. And all that we have. So, thank you. With that said, now let's get into why we're here. I'm here to probably do a recap based on some uh, recommendations, actually some uh, requests pertaining to how the power is actually ran, wire-wise, from uh, origination of power to destination of power, uh, to consumption of power, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you from the inverter, wire-wise, right through to where it terminates into my house panel box, actually how it terminates into my house panel box because some people had questions pertaining to how that's done and in what way. Uh, typical solar system, it's, a, it's not a battery system, so what they do, they just generally just bring um, uh, those two legs, which will be L1, L2 from your solar system to L1, L2 of the uh, panel box through a breaker and feed back feed the power into your panel box which goes into your house in this case it's not quite the same my l1 main l1 and l2 coming into the house is from the solar system which we know the gateway so without going into this too much i'm just going to walk you through it that way you guys can have a more comprehensive view so this was going to be a recap of the systems um exploration video just so you know um, and it'll be a little more comprehensive. Um, so I'll just walk you guys through it. The order, we're gonna go inverter, we're gonna go to a load center or a generation panel. We'll go through the uh, main disconnect for the solar system, and then we'll end up in the gateway. And from the gateway, we're gonna, gateway splits. The gateway splits between the house and the, uh, the grid, right? I'll show you how it goes, which the directions that it go both ways. Um, goes to the grid, and it goes to the house. So we'll define that. I'll show you, we outline it, and then um, and then we'll go from there. All right, so we'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, here we are at the inverter. As you know, um, based on my other videos, this is a, a Delta inverter. So as you can see, we got two strings coming in from the solar and the solar panels on the roof. We got string one and string two. These are depicted by the, the number of tape rolled on it, uh, red and red, white and white, single white, single red, that's string one, double red, double white, string two, all right? As you notice, this is now combined into the inverter, which makes that total uh, power for distribution, which in this case, we're converting the DC power coming in from the solar panel on the roof, and we're converting it to AC power, which is 240 volts, which is going to be distributed through the other parts of the system, which we're going to define here shortly. And that will proceed on through until it's consumed by the house or it's distributed to the grid. All right, just a quick look. We're not going to go over what's this. So I'll tell you this. This is your power coming in, string one, string two. Uh, this power it comes through the disconnect into the inverter as DC power, direct current. Um, and then it comes back out of the inverter as AC power, alternating current. And remember these wires because you're going to see them again and distribute it through the load center and so on and so on. All right, so let's go on and move on to the next stage of this step. We're following the electricity, right? We're following the electricity through the conversion process and its pathway to my house and to consumption and or distribution to the grid. All right, see you in a bit. All right, guys, here we are at the load center or generation panel, whatever your choice is. Um, so remember we talked about this power here. This particular 30, 35 amp breaker, this is what the solar is coming in on. Um, we didn't talk about inside as the battery distribution, but this that's fine because it's, it's direct. So the batteries come in here on one battery is on one breaker, one breaker set, next battery is on the next breaker set, and 
this is the load center. This is where all three power is a confluence, right? This is where they converge. And it's singulated at this point here and distributed out through the path down to the main disconnect for the solar system. As you can see, if you follow the power down, it comes in across the fuse, back out, back down, across conduit. And then this is where it gets fun, guys. All right, so follow me on this, okay? So what we're gonna do, we bring the power in, across, we come up, and down, okay? Let me pull away so you can see the gateway. So we're now we're in the gateway. So we have left the load center, we come down to the main solar disconnect, cross conduit into the gateway. So now we're feeding into the gateway, boom. So the smaller of the two gauge wires here on L1 and L2 are from the backup system, which is the batteries, and the solar generation system, okay? That's where the um, generation panel, the load center, this is the incoming power from that system or from that unit, that box. The larger gauge wire, all right, so this is where we have to kind of get a little specific. The larger gauge wire here, it's going out, not to the grid, but to my house, okay? This is where the power is just distributed out to the house and into my main uh, um, breaker panel in the house, which we'll see in a, in a little bit, okay? We, as from the previous video, uh, we discussed what this is. This is the main relay that disconnects the grid from the house in the event that we have a power outage. Um, and we're going to go independent of the grid, obviously, or the sy system is going to go independent of the grid. This is where it happens with this main relay, okay? The disconnection takes place right here. And then this is that single point that goes out to the grid or in from the grid, depending on how power is flowing. So we take that power, we come across a short conduit run, and here we are into the main uh, box for the meter box, rather. This is the box that the meter is on. And you can see that. And that power at this point is strictly grid. And you can see the big, um, 150 amp circuit breaker here and that's how it is guys so now that we have solar generation battery backup all comes into all comes into the uh, load center or the generation panel and then from the load center it traverses through the solar disconnect main solar disconnect and from that main solar disconnect. Now, let me clarify one thing. There's no distinction in power here. The system manages the power, whether it's still supplying battery power, which the gateway controller will determine if battery power is required, if solar power is insufficient, and it will instruct the battery to send power and not send power. But regardless of who's sending power, whether it's coming from the solar or it's coming from the battery, once it's on this wire here, or these wires, these legs, it doesn't matter. It's the same power regardless, right? It's still 240. It doesn't change at this point. It doesn't care. No, Nothing downstream of this point cares where the power is being generated because that, hence why they call this box a generation panel, right? This is the power being generated, whether it's being generated from the solar system, the, the panels on the roof, and or the batteries. So, but however, once it's on this leg, it comes through, comes out through the disconnect, uh, solar disconnect once it's through that again we're just recapping going through the gateway into the gateway comes up along here into on and terminate onto l1 l2 and this is l1 l2 for the solar generation and l1 l2 that distributes to my main breaker panel inside the house all right so uh, comprehensively i think we're good in this regard just give you a back away view. You can kind of get a little bit more perspective on this. All right. 
I hope this does it for you guys. I hope it gives you a, a better understanding of how the power is routed through the system. All right, and I'll, I'll see you in a bit. We'll end up at the final termination spot where the power is distributed to the house and where my family and I consume it. All right, see you there. All right, guys, here we are. We're now at the main breaker panel. So we bring that power from, as I said, from the gateway into the house via these lines, line one, L1 and L2, okay? This is not coming from the meter panel. This is coming from the gateway. So in a sense, if it's coming from the gateway, it can be solar generated power, it can be battery generated power, and or it can be grid generated power at this point. Normally what you would see on a conventional solar system, they would just simply put uh, a two bridge uh, breaker, as you can say, 240 breaker in this case, any breaker that are, are 240 capable, which in this case is two breakers spanning two legs. Um, a double breaker scenario, basically. And you would normally see something like what you see here. Just the solar feed coming into the breaker, which back feeds into your house. Done. Simple as that. Well, in this case, that's not what's happening. In this case, because I do have the gateway, I do have battery, I do have all the, the working components that make the system a full solar system. It's fed through the main lines which is split. It basically splits the grid through the gateway, uh, well, the grid lines through the gateway. That way the gateway can manage isolating the grid in the time of a power outage and at the same time um, uh, utilizing certain features that the Tesla system holds as um, off-grid mode once Tesla enable it, these type of stuff. So it gives the gateway the power to be able to say, eh, I'm going to terminate the grid because the customer or the user want, end user wants to be off-grid. I mean, you can simulate that now by just simply turning off your meter panel main breaker for your house, and then it, the, the gateway would naturally go into off-grid mode. I think Tesla is trying to do it via software where in the app you can say, shut off the grid. I don't want the grid. I just want to run off my solar system, which entails, in my case, batteries, panels, inverter, that type of stuff. Just basically self-sufficient, uh, 100%. Okay, so as you can see, that's it, guys. It's real simple. Now, what I'm going to do, I'll give you a little prelude to what I think my next video is going to be while we wait for them to give the PTO permission to turn on and get all that stuff. I'm still waiting on the panels, guys. Sorry about that, but Man, sometimes these permitting can uh, the permit permits in this area of Florida can be a pain in the butt, man. And <laughs> you would think it would be easy because we already had the permit for the original configuration, and it should just be an augmentation to what's already there. But apparently not, man. So it's taking forever. But it is what it is. I'm not sweating it. When it gets done, it gets done. We want what we want, so you got to be patient and let things happen the way it is, especially if you're going to let it be God's will, because God forbid I push and I, I shove and it doesn't work out in my favor and then I'm the one that suffer for it. So I'll just let God deal with it however he see fits, and when it's done, it's done. Simple as that. Once it's done, you guys will know about it because I'll update you. Well, anyway, what's that? What is it? Red, orange, box, make sure vote, whatever. Uh, this is a sense energy monitoring unit. So this is the guy I kind of alluded to in the previous video. This is the guy that allows me to monitor the monitors. So see these CTs here? And you saw out in the generation panel, there was another set of CTs over there. Well, this allows me, an independent app, to see what's being generated from the solar, which is the, the set of CTs you saw out in the generation panel. Um, so that's a direct solar field. So uh, feed, direct solar feed um, from the panels. So I get to, uh, rather not from the panels, from the inverter. So I get to see what the solar is producing. And these CTs show me what the house is consuming. All right, so because any all things below this point is the house, and this is the supply to the house. So whatever drawer is coming in on either of those legs, 
I get to monitor that draw and determine what's being used in my house. And the one thing I love about this sense unit is that this sense unit is it, smart, it's intuitive. It has a, a machine algorithm that allows for it to measure usage, device usage, against a known database of uh, uh, energy patterns or uh, energy, um, how you say it? Uh, I'm trying to put this right. It's uh, it, it uses a, a machine algorithm that looks and compares against uh, energy signature from a particular device, right? So if this device is known to pull so many watts or so many amps or what have you, it would look and compare. And it's very thorough of what it does because it doesn't just you're going to have devices with like patterns, you know, energy patterns. And, and, and sometimes you will have that conflict, but you still have the final say on whether or not that device is what Sense think it is. In most cases, Sense is very accurate. And that's why it, the process to learn in the home appliances doesn't happen like in a day. It takes sometimes weeks to depict certain one device over another because of the proximity of uh, likeness between energy signatures from one device to another and it studies that its signature and it, again it compare it against an algorithm to, it has an algorithm to compare it against a database to define whether or not it's actually that device so pretty cool stuff uh i'm gonna do more of that i'll do some screen um screenshots and some um uh, I'll do some screen recordings and so forth of how the house is functioning. I'll probably even do a whole 24-hour period so you can see how Sense reacts. I'm going to do this with Tesla as well, but until the Tesla is going, we'll do the Sense and give you guys some insight to the Sense and show you how Sense actually uh, identifies items as it turns on and turn off from the water heater to the microwave to blenders or all this stuff. So I'll do a 24-hour period when I know my house is going to be very active so you can kind of see how that translates and um and um maybe um look into it yourself i believe in the redundancy because i can look at see what tes tesla is doing versus what sense is doing and I, from what i've seen in some of my previous testing with the tesla and the sense they're on par there's some subtle difference right but you know what i mean one manufacturer versus another yeah. and just as a note this the tesla system the information you're seeing on the tesla app is basically from a competitor of these company uh neuro right so I didn't know. I pointed that out in the previous video, so you can just look at the previous um, exploration video, and you'll see I did point out, point out the neural control, the neural control controller that's in the um, gateway. So Tesla actually are using a third-party device to um, show you that information that you're seeing on the app pertaining to energy consumption and energy usage between the um, from all the various aspects whether it be solar whether it be battery whether it be house consumption so there you have it guys i'm not gonna protract this video anymore i think we have uh we have got as comprehensive as we need to be um i'll close out with my final thoughts and then um and then we'll we'll, we'll stand by until the next time all right take care See you soon. All right, guys, there you have it. Um, I hope that answers a lot of questions. Um, I have a user that asked for this specifically um, and some pictures as well, which I'll take care of. Um, I, again, I apologize. I, I wish I can do more faster, but I have a life to live too, right? So, and I have a family to provide for. So when I'm doing that, I'm unable to do as much as I would like to. But um, I, as I promise you guys, I'm going to take you on the journey with me. And as I have the opportunity and I have the circumstances, I'm going to translate that to you guys through these YouTube video. And hopefully it imp impacts your life and it, it gives you foresight, knowledge, understanding, um, uh, pertaining to your own desires as you go forward in, in life, right? for whatever endeavors you have set well with that said guys i'm gonna let you go uh, i pray that god bless you and watches over you and all things pertaining to you your family and all those associated with you and i hope that all that your desires in life be fulfilled all right until the next time god bless you all and i'll see you soon